Welcome to the D4 Playoffs. Playoffs, it's the New Hampshire Sports Pitch Sentinel Title Services Game of the Week. We got Portsmouth Christian, the seventh seed, taking on the 10th seed, Newmarket. They split the season series. Uh, Newmarket's been on fire. They won four of their last six coming into the playoffs. PCA, a little bit of a tailspin. They lost their last three. Maybe blew a top four seed, but they got a home game tonight. These two teams are very familiar with one another. As I said, they split the season series. Uh, it's going to be uh, Eric Bontemps going to be the main scoring threat for uh, Portsmouth Christian. Health concerns with Paul Stoudy. Is his shoulder okay? How much is he going to play? And really for PCA, how are they going to deal with the big guy, Ian Bentley, for uh, Newmarket? 6'4", and uh, big presence down low. Grabs about 10 rebounds a game. You might see more of Devin Lund in there for Portsmouth Christian. Tom Gilpatrick, our referee tonight. Oh, you're good. As uh, the crib gym, as you can tell, it's going to be a fun atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think the question is, can PCA pull out of their tailspin, and can Newmarket keep it going? Uh, two of our favorite coaches, the big smooth Lewis Atkins for Portsmouth Christian and Jamie Hayes. Seven Final Fours in Division Four. A guy knows what he's doing. So this is where it all begins. One of the few games not snowed out tonight. Come on, what are we doing, Division Four? You can't drive in the snow. The Sentinel Title Services Game of the Week. All the play-by-play. -play. I'm doing it on the radio as well at WTSN. All the interviews. Everything you need right here on nasportspage.com. Patrick has the ball center court. We're underway. Tab is controlled by the Eagles. We'll go to Gendron in the back court. He'll hand it off to Sean Bradley. Bradley over on the right side. It goes to Joe Toll. Toll the right way extended. Looking up top for Gendron. Instead, pushes in the right corner. Now gets it on the give and go. Lays it up and in on the right side. Nice cut. And Drew McCormick found him. Two to nothing. PCA. Anthony! Two to nothing. You hear Jamie Hayes directing traffic. Newmarket bench right in front of us. Left elbow, it's Bentley. Right side for Jordan. He launches a three. Yes. Three to two, Newmarket. Just a minute into the game. Full court pressure. Good Bentley good. at the right mid block. Kicks it out to left side. There it's rotated over to Savanasek. He's over the left wing. He'll shoot the deep three. Yes. threes for Newmarket has a 6-4 lead. More pressure from the Mules. It's over the timeline on the right side. Sean Bradley over for Joe Toll. Toll pushes the corner. First touch for Eric Bonteps. Bonteps goes baseline. Shovels out to Bradley. Open. Three. Too strong. Rebound. Oh! It hit the top of the backboard and went in. The shooters bounce for Sean Bradley. Now that's a hometown bounce. 9-7 Portsmouth Christian. Sends the bath, his first. Third team foul for Newmarket. Toll gets it into Drew McCormick, puts it off the glass and in. Oh, Drew McCormick, the last three games, averaging 14 points a game. He's got four points tonight, 11 to six PCA. Bentley spins the left mid block, trying to back down Bontemps. He taps it away, gets it back though. Then Bentley shovels it in the right corner. Three ball on the way, yes. Three ball corner pocket for Matt Wilson. He cuts the lead to two. 11 to nine, Portsmouth Christian leading Newmarket. 321 to go in the first. If you're watching the video on nhsportspage.com where you can see the highlights tomorrow, make sure you get a look at Devin Lund. Looks just like, not just like, as the right side three is no good. Rebound is cleaned up, put back in by Ian Bentley. First two points of the game, ties it at 11. Team's doubling down on 11. You always double down on 11. 2.56 to go in the first. He looks like I was with the Eagles. 35 seconds to play in the period. 14 to 11 is the new market lead. Sean Bradley backs it out near the half court circle. On the right side it goes for Joe Toll. Underneath for Bonteps. Bonteps puts it up strong and in. First two points for Eric Bonteps. Cuts the lead to one. Top for Bonteps. Bonteps trying to back down his defender. The left elbow finds a cutting Paul Stouty. Nice move in the paint. Puts it up with the right hand. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Off the window and in. First two points of the night for Paul Stouty. Shoulder looked all right there. And it's a one point PCA lead. 15-14. Just underway in the second quarter. Cam Jordan up the screen. Goes to his right. He'll launch the deep three. Knocks it down. Cam Jordan. And now Cam Jordan knocks the inbounds pass out of bounds. 
1750 New Market with 710 to go in the second. He lost that thing from Newington that was so far away. In front of the broadcast position, starts to play. Gets it in to Bradley. Right side for Joe Toll. Hesitation dribble to the right block. Puts it up and in. Four points for Joe Toll. We're tied again at 17. 6.20 to play in the first half. Is the PCA lead. 5.22 to go in the first half. On the right side, it goes to Sensenbath. Sensenbath drives. The reverse layup gets it to go. Oh, what a shot. Anthony Sensenbath gives Newmarket a one-point lead. Matt Wilson. Wilson of Newmarket with a left-hand dribble all the way to the left wing. Back up top for Jordan. Thought about a three, now starts his drive. Gets to the paint, leaves it for Bentley. Oh, rejected by Bonteps. Bentley wants a foul, but here comes Bonteps in transition. Bonteps, coast to coast, can't get it to go. Crosses the timeline, looking to his right. Now to his left, it goes for Drew McCormick. McCormick, one dribble, and gives it over to Joe Tall. Right side it goes for Bradley. He'll shoot the rainbow three off the window. For Sean Bradley. Six points, it's a two point lead for the Eagles. And Cam Jordan will lock it up the right wing. Now accelerates to the right wing and keeps going. Nope, pulls up his dribble, lobs it to Bentley. Right mid block in the paint, puts it up and in. Nice touch for me and Bentley. 24 23, Newmarket. The Newells lead by one. 5.09 to go in the third quarter. Drew McCormick of PCA with the ball up top. It goes for Paul Stout. He nearly traveled. Left side it goes for Toll. Toll with a wide open lane. Drives and scores. The seas parted for Joe Toll. And he retakes the lead for PCA. Suvanase. Cam Jordan will look to get it in. All the way up top for Suvanase. West Tobin's job is going to be to push around Bentley, it looks like. As on the left wing, it goes to Leahy. Leahy. Bounce that three for Bentley, kicks it out on the left side for Wilson. His three, yes, and a foul after the shot. All right, Matt Wilson to keep Toll from getting his own rebound. Three and a half to go, New Market basketball. Up to Subodaseg, left elbow, jumper, yes. Six points for Alex Subodaseg, the lead is four for New Market. 3.16 to go in the third. Between the circles for PCA, Sean Bradley. Left side it goes for uh, Jake Holden. Holden backs it back out, now up top. Bounce entry for Tobin, the right block. Trying to back down Bentley. Shots no good, rebound. Joe Toll cleans it up for PCA. Two point lead now for Newmarket. Under three minutes to go in the third. What a ball game. Gets to the elbow, leaves it for Bradley. Up fakes, drives, kicks it out. Tobin, mid range jumper, yes! Release, rotation, splash for West Tobin. And he cuts the lead to two. 2.10 to go in the third. Am Jordan shovels it into the left elbow for Leahy. Up top for Matt Wilson. Right side, Alex Ivanasek. Underneath for Bentley. Once again, trying to back down Tobin. Little hook shot with the right hand. Gets it to go. 33-29, Newmarket. Back to back out. Left side shovels it over to Gendron. Gendron puts it up to the left side. No good. Partially deflected. Holden's there to clean up the mess. Gets it to go. First two points for Jake Holden. 33-31 Newmarket. 15 seconds to play in the third. Mules with the ball. Bounce pass for Leahy on the left wing. Lob entry to Bentley on the left block. Tries to get in deep. Scoots it out. Right side. Wilson up fakes. Drives. Kicks it out for Savannah thing. Open. Three. Yes! Alex Savannah saying. Gives Newmarket a five-point lead. Big Smooth's going to use a timeout. We'll take it with him. 36-31. Newmarket leading PCA. 4.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Newmarket up 36-31. And Bradley pokes it away. Bradley in transition. Lays it up and in. John Bradley, eight points. Cuts the lead to three. Fourth quarter. 36-33. Newmarket. Cam Jordan, the D. Pushes the lead back to six. The lead most of the time. So it goes into Bonteps. Bonteps pushes up Bradley. Open. Three. Yes! Sean Bradley cuts the lead to three. 
345 to go in the fourth quarter. For Cam Jordan, 318 to go in the fourth quarter. Really poked away by Bradley again. Jamie Hayes screaming for a foul call. Jordan with a left wing three. He, he answers the counter punch from Cam Jordan, his second three of the fourth quarter. And on the inbound, we're gonna get a foul. Dips and fires. Rattles out. Good out of my bond tips. Got it stripped away in the hands of Tobin. Tobin in the paint, puts it high off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Bentley. New Market can milk the clock. Up seven with a buck 15 to play. Bring it up for PCA. He fires away from three, and that one goes home. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! 52-45. And that'll do it. That'll be the final. New Market will advance to the quarterfinals with the final score. New Market 52, PCA 45. Jamie Hayes, New Market coach, victorious tonight over Porch the Christian. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. Thank and, you. And man, I was uh, on the radio, I was talking to Cam Jordan. I said, I was in a couple of steel cage matches when I was a wrestler. <laughs> I don't think half of those were this violent or, or physical, I should say. No, there's quite a rivalry here between these two teams. And, uh, you know, we see each other a lot. Of yeah, they've been playing each other against since middle school, in the summer, in the fall, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. So, same kids going after it year after year. And we've had some really close games. So, yeah. um, you know, they want to compete. Yeah, you guys beat them just eight days ago. I mean, they had some kids on vacation of they all did, things, but they did. Uh, was that a confidence booster for you guys? Yeah, it sure was. You know, uh, I mean, we've won, you know, with this game, we've won five of our last seven games, yeah. you know, against these guys twice and uh, Moulton Burrow, who was a top team at the time and, yeah. and everything. So we're just, we're playing really well. I mean, you know, we have Ian back that's finally uh, where we thought he'd be after being out since January with his concussion. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're, they're really hitting stride right now. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, they, uh, Big smooth, Lewis Sackens was throwing everybody but the uh, the manager to yeah. you know, try to use them all his fouls on E. And uh, yeah. I mean, how how did he kind of keep his cool with all the physical play that was going on back and forth? Yeah, I mean, we had to we had to remind him. You know, it's not easy. It's it's competitive. You <laughs> yeah. know, uh, so we just had to you know keep him in check. And uh, you know, he's pretty good. He, he's you know we can bring him around pretty quickly. So yeah. you know, he's he tunes into our voices and and uh, you know he just. It's, at the end of the day, he's about the scoreboard, and, and that's all that really matters. And how did you get Eric Bontes finished just six points in the third quarter sat with foul trouble, but you guys did a good job on him. He didn't really get a whole lot of uh, open looks. What, what were you doing on him that was making life hard for him? Well, I mean, we just tried to not not give him a spot. You know, we just tried to keep moving three-quarter on one side. If he got, you know, use our – we put Ben Leahy on him, who's uh, very athletic, so we kept moving around. And the other thing was our guards, too. Good ball pressure. He was open at times, but they couldn't find him because the ball pressure was good. So it was, they had a trouble getting him to it when he was open, too. All right. You guys are going to head to Dairy Field for uh, the quarterfinals. No surprise there. You no. probably, you'd probably <laughs> get them. What do you think about that matchup? Um, you know, I think the teams match up well. You know, they have one big like we do, and, you know, they have a couple good guards. Uh, we just played them to 10 points a couple weeks ago. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, they're very good. I mean, you know, you don't go 17-1 and and, and uh, not right. know what you're doing. So, you know, um, we're just going to have to go up there and compete like, like we have, and, and that's it. All right, Jamie Hayes, Newmarket, victorious tonight, headed to the quarterfinals. All right, Justin Picazzi, the Sentinel Services Game of the Week on NHSportsPage.com. Newmarket, a little bit of a mini upset. The 10 seed beat the 7 to move to the quarterfinals. I'm here with some of the Newmarket Mules, Ian Bentley, Cam Jordan, Alex Sivanasang. I'll start with you, Alex. Uh, I thought one of the key plays was uh, you had a three-pointer from what looked like the Summersworth town line. Uh, you guys were going back and forth on this one. What, uh, what was the feeling in the middle of the game while you guys were toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, PCA? Um, at some points, it was kind of just like the momentum would go, and then they'd hit, they'd hit a shot, so it'd be like, oh. And then we'd hit another shot, and we'd just keep pushing forward, and then we just kept working as hard as we could, and it turned out well for us. All right, uh, Cam Jordan, I'm going to ask you the same questions I just asked you on the radio. Uh, 16 points tonight. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, it was back and forth the whole way. Uh, Big three-point shots from you in the fourth quarter. What was going through your mind when you got uh, open looks? I don't know. Uh, we were just working the ball around good offense. We were going inside out, and we weren't forcing anything, and I just got a couple open shots, and luckily they went in. Uh, yeah, all right, Ian Bentley, who uh, finished the game with 13 points. Ian, I have bad news for you. The cops are outside to get you and all the guys that are guarding you for mugging each other during the whole game. We'll bail you out. Don't worry. But uh, how, how tough is it in a physical game like tonight was? Uh, it's pretty tough. I think they prepared pretty well. They they read the scouting report and uh, it was pretty rough in there. But it's the playoffs, and you kind of expect that kind of roughness coming in. So, and uh, you guys held Eric Bontemps to just six points tonight. He had some foul trouble in the third quarter and play a lot. But what was what was the key to keeping Bontemps in check? Uh, the game plan was to get him in foul trouble early, which we pretty much did. And so we struggled with fouls the whole night. And 
We knew he uh, best when he takes it to the rim, so we tried to limit that and clog up the paint. All right, and uh, Cam Jordan, I mean, you got a coach that's been in the Final Four uh, a thousand times. I mean, you guys feel uh, confident headed to Dairy Field for a quarterfinal game? Yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, we played with them the whole game last time, and it was close near the end, and then a couple shots, gave them a 10-point lead. I don't think the score really depicted the game. All right, and uh, Alex Savannah saying, uh, you know, how are you guys feeling? I'll ask you the same question. Headed to Dairy Field after a physical battle like this. Lucky for you, you're running back, so you're probably used to this kind of punishment. But how do you feel going to Dairy Field School for the um, next I one? I feel very confident in our team, considering the past two weeks that we've been going through, and we just have a hot streak going in the playoffs. So it, I think, I think we're very confident in ourselves. All right, the 10 seed New Market, five of their last seven. They're hot and healthy at the right time. They're headed to Dairy Field for the quarterfinals.